Hey guys, your boy Platt here, back with another homebrew tasting video. This is where I taste the beers we brewed in different various videos. Uh, today we have three beers in our lineup. I brewed these over the summer, so I utilize Kvikis. I've talked about in my one gallon brewing videos out here in Vegas, temperatures are just hotter. If you can't ferment, you know, in 75 and below, uh, you might want to utilize Kvikis. That lets you, you can get solid fermentations all the way up into the mid-90s, so I utilize that. Uh, first beer we have today is an Irish Red Ale. I love these type of beers, just nice malt forward classic um, beers. Uh, just slight, when, when we talk about red, don't think of a, you know, um, a Caesar beer, you know, like a, a Caesar or a Michelada Warber Red. It's more of a dark ruby you know, kind of red to it. All right, let's go ahead and jump in this beer. Real quick, let's review the numbers. Our projected original gravity was 1063. We actually came in at only 1053. Our projected final gravity was 1015. We came in at 1018, so we had kind of misses on both numbers, and that led to a big miss on our alcohol number. I say big miss, a decent size miss. Uh, we were projected at 6.3%. We came in at 5%. Now, stylistically, 5% is kind of more average for an Irish Red Ale. 6.3, they usually don't go above 6. This, this could just be, maybe I misread something. Maybe they, you know, uh, something on the recipe. Wire. We're, we're just going to say we just had a bad day at that one. Let's go ahead and pop the top. All right, I got a little dress with the pour, but nice, plenty of bubbles. Oh, my... Hard to tell in the light, but I got a pretty clear looking beer, nice kind of reddish hue. Um, kind of a, almost a pinkish uh, Pinot Noir kind of. All right. Plenty of malt on the nose. Uh, this, again, a malt forward beer. Let's give her a try. That's good. I'm not going to lie. Kids, that is good. That. That might be the best one gallon <laughs> brew I've done so far. And the funny part is I'm totally off on the number as far as, um, you know, projected ABV and gravity and stuff. But this hits just nice, small, forward, very drinkable, but has a little bit of body, you know, Again, when you start leaving the American light beers and start getting into things like Blondales, Amber Ales, or whatever, you know, we're going from a light body to medium minus body, whatever, and that's where we're headed here. This is a medium minus to almost medium body. There's plenty of malt notes, but it's not too viscous. It's still very drinkable. And the fact that we produced it at 5% instead of 6.3%, 6, 6 this makes it just even more sessionable style beer. I like that. I hope um, I hope that was just, uh, the, the numbers are just misprinted and, you know, that that, that recipe is sustainable because I might brew that again. That was pretty good. All right, let's move on to our next brew we have. We have an American IPA. Now, what makes American IPA different than the traditional Indian pale ale or the Indian pale ale from England. It's the use of American hops. That's predominantly the big difference. They are piney, they are citrusy, they are more aggressive than the noble hops utilized in Europe. Also too here in the U.S., and we'll discuss it uh, a little bit later, uh, our IPAs tend to be a little higher ABV too. So with that being said, let's jump into the numbers real quick. Our projected original gravity was 1066. That's what we came in at 1066. Our final gravity was projected at 1014. We were off a little bit. We came in at 1020. Um, our a projected ABV was 7%, which is stylistically you know closer to what Americans do. Uh, we came in at 6.1%, so we're a little low on that. Um, but um, you know we'll we'll see how the the, the flavor comes <laughs> comes out. All right, not. Didn't hear a lot of hiss, so might not get a lot of carbonation. Yep, not a lot of carbonation, but nice clear beer. That's 
All the hops are there. Yep, get the hops on the nose. Let's go ahead and dive in. That's flat. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is flat. And while I do get plenty of hops on the nose and in the flavor, the body's nice. Um, the carbonation, um, and maybe this is something worth doing a video over sometime. Uh, carbonation, though, really does make a big difference on flavor, not just kind of an effervescence or body thing, but really does affect flavor. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a dud right there, unfortunately. Dang it, I, I hate, you know, I hate when a beer goes bad, um, and I'll have to jump in the notes and maybe see uh, the carbonation thing could be just as simple as, you know, uh, either I might have not put enough priming sugar in there. Uh, you can also uh, also uh, utilize dried malt extract, um, but they actually encourage you to use sugar. Maybe I didn't put enough sugar in there. Uh, maybe one thing you might want to do, especially if you utilize something like carbonation drops or, or just sugar specifically, you might want to tilt your bottle over after you put the sugar in and let that. Maybe I got lazy on that. Um, but this is the kind of things you would do to kind of backward engineer. All right, how, how did this happen? Because it's specifically the carbonation. So, all right, did I again, not put enough sugar in there? Did I not mix it up? Uh, sometimes you can add additional yeast. Some people do that. When they put a little sugar, they also add a little yeast, similar way they do with um, champagnes. So, a little disappointed on that one, but we'll move on. Um, we're we're one for two. We're one out of two <laughs> right now. But like the first one was really nice. So let's move ahead to um, our last beer, and it is an English IPA, the traditional old school IPA. Um, as I was saying earlier. Uh, American IPAs tend to be a little higher ABV. Uh, the Brits, the, here in the U.S., we generally start at 6% and go up. Yeah, the Brits generally go 5% and up. Uh, so not quite as high ABV. Also, they'll utilize noble hops. There's a little more floral, a little more subdued um, compared to the classic kind of West Coast. When you think of about brands like Sierra Nevada, Firestone Walker, blah, blah, blah. You know, those big kind of West Coast uh, beers are a little more aggressive. This is not, not that. All right, let's jump into the numbers. Our projected original gravity is 1056. That was our actual original gravity. Our projected final gravity was 1017. We came in at 1016. So we actually beat the number just by a hair. We had projected to have 5.1% ABV. We came in at 5.2%. So uh, one, we were kind of close. One, we were real off. And one, we actually just they a bit. Uh, again, all these were utilized with Kvike yeast. So let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, nice little hiss there to our English IPA. All right, there we go. Some nice bubbles. Oh, a nice um, copper. Just nice, beautiful copper. Slight khaki head. Let's go in the nose. All right, now I get a little of those classic... Uh, Hops in the nose, balanced with malt. This is this is kind of old school, kind of a pub style IPA, I guess is a good way to put it. Let's go ahead and jump in. That's nice. Now that that to me, and I don't know why. You know, I've always kind of been in on on IPAs. The English style IPA, though, that's nice. You do get more hops. People need, you know, hops are part of beer. You know, if, you really, if you're really into beer, you will appreciate hops on some level. I appreciate <laughs> this level. Uh, just nice, a little bit of maltiness, nice body. It's low five, so it's still very drinkable. This is nice. Uh, I will say the Irish Red Ale is the better tasting of the two. But this is just a nice, well-executed beer. And it's something, you know, if I, you know... Let's say in a dream world, I was to build out, you know, beer, you know, a pale ale, a blonde ale. Whatever. 
This style English IPA, I I would not be embarrassed to serve. I'll just leave it at that. Again, the Irish Red Ale is better, but this is not too bad. No, I definitely like that. And luckily, we had carbonation. I think that's where we really missed on the American IPA. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for videos, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Until next time, bottoms up.